there are certain times of year when I like taking certain kinds of photos, mostly because that's when certain things tend to happen. And if you've been reading Weekly 50 for any length of time, you know that many times in the spring, I will put up pictures of crocus flowers, little yellow crocus flowers, because we always get them in our yard in a certain spot. And another thing I like to take pictures of are these Indian paintbrush flowers. I mean, they have a lot of names. I think uh, they one common name is prairie fire flowers. There's a lot of names for them, including the scientific name, which I always forget. And there was one morning when I went and took pictures, or was it evening? I forget if it was, it was some, the sun was low on the sky, whether morning, evening, something. And I took this in my neighbor's field, either in the early morning or early evening when the sun was low, probably the evening, actually. You know what? It was the evening now that I think about it. And here's how I know because of the backlighting The I know the direction I was facing when I took this photo, I was facing to the West and the sun sets in the West. And the, you see that spot in the top right of the of the photo it's like a little darker that's the tree line and uh, not like it's some sort of like it's a mountain or anything that's just the edge of Dave of my neighbor Dave's property and there's dark trees so anyway I shot this in the evening I was looking to the west and I really like the way that it looks like the 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 flower is glowing and it's got these little I don't know what you call them but little hairs something i don't know along the center stalk of the flower these little frizzy bits and they're they're just like glowing white and it's so cool it almost looks like it's electrified and the leaves the red leaves have this translucent um look to them it's just really cool the way it, it looks like it's glowing in the backlight and i think what i really like though is you see that flower on the left? It's actually an onion flower, so my neighbor tells me. There's, there's like wild onions growing underground, and they shoot up these flowers. You see how it's got like these ghosty images where it's almost like there's two of those, like someone did a copy-paste, and you see that a couple times in this image where there's like vertical um, flower uh, stalks that are duplicated, and it's really cool. I don't even know what causes that. I don't use a filter on my macro lens, which is kind of odd. Like you would think it's an expensive macro lens. I would should put a clear filter on the front, but I don't because I want nothing in the way of my lens and the incoming light. And filters can sometimes um, uh, bend the light in ways that you don't really want. So whatever is causing that, it's really cool. And I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't want to say I've never seen it before in one of my pictures, but I don't think I've seen it. And I like it. And I don't know if I'll try and recreate it at any point. It's really cool. <laughs> and I like the way that you've got this. This is a classic Simon Weekly 50 composition. There's one clear subject in the middle. There's a little bit of foreground, some background, nice separation between the two. There's nothing complicated about this photo. But there was, a, I put a lot of thought into taking it. And I really like how it turned out, especially with that those cool added elements that I didn't even plan.